Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to another episode of Haunted Gaming. Or that's what I wish I could say, unfortunately. I'll be honest here, I've been having a little trouble finding, you know, a good one uh, this week. I mean, it, 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 I mean, like, look, I'll be honest with you, I lost all the requests sent to me this past week and way before. My entire schedule, you know, that I made has gotten messed up. I actually deleted everything. Like, my inbox is all gone too. I don't know how the fuck I did that, I was really stupid. So, you know, if you sent in a request, or, you know, it was on the schedule, or any other thing, could you mind resending what you sent to me, and I'll try to rebuild that schedule. It's just, just really gotten messed up, I apologize. Alright, what the hell is this? Sorry, somebody sent me a message. It's on my company mail, what the fuck? It's just a link. Let me pull it up on the computer. Alright, this, this has got to be a prank or something. It's just an empty site with a black background that just says, Don't look behind you in white text. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, guys and gals, I'm going to look behind me. Nope. Nothing. Alright. So, that was stupid. <laughs> really. Anyways, as I was saying, I lost pretty much everything. I, I thought I got one just now, so I'm sorry I don't have really anything right now of this episode, so, you know, send me stuff like crazy, I guess. You know, I gotta make that fucking schedule once more and save it, like, a million times or I won't lose my money. I don't know why I fucking didn't do that. Wait, did... What the fuck? Did you... What was that? I'm looking around, but I don't see any... What the fuck was that noise? Well... This week I'm going to give you uh, all, my faithful ordinary gamers here, and faithful everyone here watching, thank you very much, some tips on how to write your own successful creepypasta. For some time now you've heard me read a lot of stories. Some were honestly really great, like Ben and Jeff the Killer, and others were pretty crappy, and if they were to be done now they'd be on the shitty pasta series, uh, Kirby's Deadland, uh, fucking Kill Waker, <laughs> and uh, even Sonic.exe, so, oh, Sonic.exe, ugh. So I'm not going to say that I'm an expert at creepypastas or scary stories, because I'm not, but these are just some things that I feel would make a creepypasta really creepy. So, you know, step number one, stay away from the cliches. By now you've heard or read a thousand stories with the writer saying how they loved this classic game, or that they had nightmares after they saw some creepy shit, or how about that 16-bit game that had, dear god, hyper-realistic blood. Just, just stop. Be, be creative. If you want to write your own creepypasta, I recommend reading a few others and uh, try and stay away from all those things that most stories rely on to be creepy. You don't have to use a lot of gore or blood to make a story good, guys and gals, please. Two, make sure it makes sense. I can't tell you how many creepypastas I've read where things happen and just don't tie up with other events. It really takes away from the eeriness of the story if you just throw in random dead bodies or fuck even a screamer event. Those things can be great, sans a screamer event, they're not great, <laughs> if they're used in a way that makes sense with all the other things that happen. You don't need to... Okay, what the f what? Hang on, what is... what the fuck? I don't know, guys and gals, uh, uh, you might be getting some paranormal events this episode, maybe, I don't know, but it sounds like something fell down, I, it was awfully loud, but uh, I couldn't find what it was, I looked in the closet, out the window, under the bed, it's nothing, uh, whatever, back to the tips, you don't need to, shit, fuck, okay, okay, I don't, fuck, I don't, I don't know what's happening here, like, I'm totally being serious right now, this isn't, there's not even anything broken in here. Uh, the recording's running. There's waveform, so obviously the sound picked up. I don't see anything. What the fuck? All 
Alright, guys and gals, there's something weird going on. I just looked back at the screen, you know that creepy pasta? It, it, it says the words, I told you, in like, red letter. How the fuck did it... It's all in caps, dude. I gotta fuck... I knew I should have put this on the fucking virtual system. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this episode later. First thing, I gotta debug this PC. I gotta fucking clean this shit up. Fuck, can't even close it. Task manager, control... Shit. Control delete isn't working either. Fuck. It's getting weird. I'm gonna have to give Dave a call. Like... Hey Dave. Uh, there's something really weird going on at the computer right now. Yeah. Uh, well, you know that thing I do for YouTube, right? Yeah, like I make the videos and stuff. Well, I was working on one of them, and um, my computer fucked up entirely. Like, you're not going to believe half the shit that happened. But, like, I've been hearing weird noises around the house. There's, like, some thumping. Yo, fucking glass broke. Why would I be fuck? Oh, my God. Like, my computer's completely frozen. I try going to task manager everything. Like, it's not responding whatsoever, but the processes are running. Like, no, I haven't pulled the plug out. No, I, I'm not going to do that. Because we have that render running for that fucking client tomorrow. You know how picky is with dates. I can't just re-render this in one night. It's going to take a while. It's been rendering for like a day now. So what do, fuck, what do I do? This is just weird ass shit, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, like I, there were the, somebody sent a link in the company email. I, can't, I couldn't figure out what the fucking um, address was that sent it to me. But whatever it was, like, it looked weird when I got it. I didn't even know how they figured out company mail. Like, no one knows that except for me, you, and the, guy, the other guys. So, yeah, I got this link. And when I clicked on it, it was like this, uh, it was just, you know, this black background with stuff. Fuck. It was literally like, don't look behind you. Like, just, and now, now that same link, I didn't shut it off. It just turned, it turned, like, red wetter. Let, fuck, man, I can. It's messed up, I'm telling you, it's messed up. It's messed up. Yeah. It just says the words I told you. There, it's in, it's in like all caps. Like, I don't know what happened. All right, obviously we can't figure this out. All right, look. Yeah, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll, it's, it's fucking nothing. Don't worry. Bunch of noises don't scare me. It's just, it's just really weird. It's never happened. Look, anyway, I'll, I'll call you later if anything big happens. All right, just keep your phone ready. All right, bye. <sighs> Shit. What does it say? You shouldn't do that. Well, what did I do? Fuck, it changed. Like, oh my god, it answered. All it says is just sit there now like a good little boy. That makes no sense. Fuck, no, I'm not just going to sit here like some fucking... Oh my god. No, I'm not sitting here. Fuck it. Show you something. Wait, where did that? Where did that come from? I don't have the head. Thing. The headphones aren't. Where does that sound? Give me my phone. Could it be? I don't have anything that can make no noise. Fuck. Okay, the screen just changed. It has. All right, hold on. Let me just. Fuck. No. Oh my god. <coughs> Who the hell is it? I'm getting the look. Who the fuck is doing? Stop! Stop it! They're just dead kids. This is my secret. Mudar, this is my construct. Don't you like it? Is it sick enough for you? The fuck? The fuck? Tell me, you like it? It's good. It's. Oh, fuck it. It's great. It's great. It's great. Good, I made this all of it for you. I'm dead. What? Mudahar, remember, don't look behind you. You'll never know what to do if you aren't lucky. Shit. Oh, okay, okay. Ugh. Oh.
Uh, my computer. Oh. It's gone. Task manager. Everything seems fine. Fuck, man. Alright, guys and gals. Fuck, it's not like I guess. I can't even upload this. Fuck. This is weird. This is fun. This is weird. Oh, shit. I need to get out of here. Fuck. I need to get some fucking air, man. Fuck, I gotta get out. Shit! <laughs> So, before we obviously end this, that wasn't a traditional creepypasta in a sense. That was a uh, sort of creepypasta slash script that, a, a, you know, a big fan had wrote onto the uh, Some Ordinary Gamers wiki. I'll leave it all in the link in the description below so you can read it. It's obviously not the same. I sort of changed a lot of things to adapt to my personal life, and uh, I acted it, albeit very poorly, I guess. I'm not a great, you know, actor when it comes to this stuff, but I tried, and uh, the reason why... I actually think this creepypasta is really awesome and I really like it is because it's really unique. Now, it's not a traditional story type of creepypasta. It's really just a script in general, but the way it's it's written and the way the way it's uh the way it's designed really does appeal to me in the way I could speak. And honestly, I guess uh, I really did like the idea of a creepypasta where we could turn one of these episodes that we constantly do and turn them into like a lost episode format. So, there's not a whole lot of analytical things I can do with this. There's not a whole complex story besides the uh, fan appearing and me uh, unfortunately dying at the end. Or at least I think I died. I don't know. I'm still talking, am I? So could I be speaking from the dead? I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a creepypasta. I don't normally do these, uh, mostly because I like the traditional type of creepypastas, but it's a very nice change of pace here and there, and I like unique things. Um, but yeah, this is sort of like a... Uh, this is, a, this, is, this is a good one, I'm not going to lie. There's other creepypastas like this, but I actually really enjoyed reading this the first time because I thought maybe this was a fan-made creepypasta and it was just referencing me. Normally I don't do them, but as I read it the first time, it was actually really, really exciting to see, you know, how it would be like fact of that. So just, you know, I guess the only analytical thing that can happen really is from you this special episode, this one time, I guess, and, you know, all the times. But really now you can tell me how I did and what you thought of this creepypasta. What would you rate it and what would you change to make it better? Or I guess more realistic in a sense, but yeah, this is uh this has been a episode of haunted gaming, as told by this creep pasta. So if you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know how you uh, felt. By the way, uh, for those wondering what game this is, this is the Forest. It is an open world survival horror crafting game. I guess you could say it looks like Minecraft in a way. And uh, it kind of is. You gotta survive pretty much the uh, nights and days in this game. But the only exception is you're on an island full of cannibals, so it gets pretty interesting during the night when they come out to attack. But yeah, you gotta like fight, hide, survive, or do whatever it takes. But yeah, this game is pretty awesome. It came out today on Steam, so if you wanna go check it out, come check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. But yeah, if you ever want a game I'm playing, I'll key it in the description. Uh, sorry, key it in the video, put it in the description, and sometimes we'll give it a mention at the end. But yeah, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, I am out. <laughs>